my soul Protect guy from the evil that lurk Bless my soul, bless my soul 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 From the ways of the wicked Don't you just my soul What's up YouTube, it's your boy Money Mark J back with a video. And this video is basically um, a quick video of how I put together my do-it-yourself Durzel standpipe uh, fitting for my hang on the back overflow box. And this uh, is for one of my subscribers, Vipe TE1985, I believe that's how you say your name. Um, this video is basically for you and I hope everybody else, all my other subscribers and friends and everybody who checks my videos out can learn something from this. So let me ask you this, guys. Have you ever had an overflow box that made a lot of gurgling noise? Just like every two or three seconds, it makes that glug, 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 glug noise. And it just drove you crazy. Well, it's a quick and easy and simple solution to this problem. I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, basically, this is what you want to do. Is get you some PVC cutters. You can get these from Home Depot or Lowe's for like 10, 15 bucks. Um, real easy to use, real smart um, way to use it. Basically, what you would do is just... Um, open this guy up, put your PVC pipe in there, keep closing down, keep closing down until it cuts all the way through the PVC pipe. Real easy. This is like a pair of scissors. Um, most hang on the back overflow boxes, as you see right here, come already pre drilled with a one inch um, bulkhead attached to it. So you can use one inch PVC piping in this manner. One inch is, is, is fine, it's good enough. Um, what you want to do is buy one inch PVC, of course, which is this is one piece. Um, you want to buy a one inch. T fitting and all these pieces are slips okay you have a difference it's a slip and a thread slip you can slide it right on thread is where you have to screw it on with um, some some I believe they call it Teflon tape um, which is just too much work you can use you slip alright what you also want to get is one inch PVC cap which is right here and a one inch PVC T I'm sorry elbow um, the T is right here this is the elbow, 45 degree. Damn, I'm just messing it all up. 90 degree elbow. Bear with me, I'm very tired, okay? Um, and I'll get to this later on. So, this comes with the bulkhead. It might come with the overflow box already. You know, this comes already attached inside the bulkhead. Um, what you want to do is just take this, take your T, slide it on. I'm trying doing this with one hand too, so bear with me, okay? Um, what you want to do is slide it on. Um, there's no need for any glue because all this is going to be inside your overflow box. So there's no need to glue it, okay? Um, and with these fittings, as you guys can see, I already cut a, p a piece of 1 inch PVC and already put it in the uh, 1 inch cap. So basically, these just fit like Legos. You just slide it on in. Lift it up for you so you guys can see what I'm doing here. Slide it on in. I put another, you know, 1 inch PVC pipe in there. So it can connect to this, and as you guys can see how it's cut, um, basically what I did was I cut it a little short, it was longer, it was like this before, but I cut it just so that it could fit inside this overflow box, because this overflow box is very slim. Um, connect this, bear with me here guys, okay, I just got it on. So basically, you have this look, and if you guys know, this is basically how a Durzel standpipe looks. And what I've done, um, you don't have to do this, but it's a good safety uh, uh, measure. I put this strainer at the end because of the fact that if anything goes in your overflow box, any crabs, any fish, anything, it kind of helps keeps it out of your sump and out of your, uh, your filter stock or whatever you have down there in your sump area. All right? Now, basically, what you want to do is... Um, in the cap, you want to put a hole in there. You want to put a hole in your cap so th this Durso stamp, stamp pipe can breathe. And I'm going to show you this right now, what happens if you don't. Let's see if I can get back here. As you guys can see, this is one of them right here. Now watch what happens to the water level when I put my finger over this hole right here. You guys ready? Check this out. The water level drops and it makes that gurgling noise because the water level is way down here. Okay? So basically what you want to do, and as you guys can see, 
the water level in my overflow box right here the inside of it has went extremely low and is down right here so what you want to do is leave that hole up there so the water level can stay kind of high and also when the water level raises up it's going to raise up but it's not going to go too hot because the water is getting sucked in through here and going down and this is your top water level that you see right here all right and you won't have any issues at all with anything it's a quiet as you guys can hear it you barely can't even hear it but when this is covered you have that noise right there all right so you want it to breathe let it let your Duracell standpipe breathe all right let it do its thing and when that water level goes down it's going to be very hard for water to suck back up through this drainer sucking it back up through over here all right so let it breathe it doesn't have to be a big crazy hole in it just you know re something really small um and once it's all said and done you're going to take this and you're going to put it inside of your bulkhead right there all right and just let it go um, I tried that out for the first time and it worked perfect never had an issue never had a gurgling noise or a problem or anything so um, I hope this video helped you guys out if you guys are experiencing this gurgling noise this is ways to fix it guys this is an easy fix for like five bucks at the most and also you have a homemade Durazo standpipe and it's something that you can implement in every system that you have going forward all right so if you guys like the video, comment, rate, subscribe. I hope you learned something, and um, I'll holler at you guys later, all right? Y'all be good. Peace.